A rare bird sighting is drawing bird watchers from across the country to the ocean state. We've learned a wood sandpiper native to Turkey has shown up in Jamestown. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, TJ Del Santo has the details new at 530. Bird watchers from all over the country are flocking to Jamestown to catch a glimpse of a rare bird never seen before in New England. In the Marsh Meadows Wildlife Preserve in Jamestown, among the great egret and the cormorants, which are common to Rhode Island, is a bird never before seen in the ocean state. Jan St. Jean, a volunteer with the Audubon Society, was there when it was discovered over the weekend. All of us started pulling out our phones and our field guides. Is it something from Europe? Where is it from? And then somebody figured out that it was a wood sandpiper. It doesn't belong here. It would nest in Europe quite commonly. And then um, and then winters in Africa. This is only the seventh sighting ever in the lower 48 states of the wood sandpiper, and it's the first time ever seen in New England. Birders have come from far away to see it because it is considered a life bird to bird watchers. That is a bird they will likely never see again in their lives. It's attracted people from all over. Um, New England right now and somebody said to me there probably will be people flying in from other parts of the country. It's the rarity and that and that's what draws the birders, you know, something that just doesn't belong here. The bird has yellow legs and a light brown and white body. It acts like a typical sandpiper looking for worms, bugs and small fish in the marsh. Typical characteristics from an atypical bird to Rhode Island. So it obviously got off course somehow. That's I wonder how did it find its way here? and what's going to happen to it. And nobody really seems to know how long this bird will stick around, but most agree that once the weather starts getting colder, the wood sandpiper will be leaving Rhode Island. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.